Hey guys, welcome back to today's video. I know it's been a while since I did another unboxing video. So today I am presenting you guys with two orange boxes that I just collected. I'm in the back alley again and uh, I'm going in for my Hermes appointment today so I figure I'd take you guys with me and you can see this is actually the Chanel building that have been kind of almost finished building that I've kept you guys posted every time I come out here so we'll see what it comes out to once it um, finishes building but first let's go to the appointment and see what is being offered for me today I am presenting you guys two orange boxes that I just collected. I guess I have not updated my Hermes wish list as much as I did last year. So these are some of the items that I just recently got called to collect. But those are items that I know I have been wanting for a while. Can you guess what it is? The box is definitely a giveaway because look, it's really big and it's probably a bag in there. But before I unbox it, let me know in the comment section below which item do you think it's inside this orange box. It's really interesting. You know, for all of the items that we see often online, if you are using Instagram or other social media platform as a reference, there are always those hot items that you see other people have that you might have a hard time finding available in the store. So that's when I suggest that you work with an essay and let them know exactly what you're looking for. This item and also this one are actually items my essay has helped me get even though they're not available. I definitely have waited quite a while for both of these items. My essay actually told me this is a discontinued item from the Hermes store. Essay still went ahead and placed a backup order. So this came in and I got the call. I'm just going to be unboxing this with you guys as I talk it through because there are just some stories behind it before I got these. Usually in their home goods department, especially if you order one of these items, it comes in a set of two, but you have to purchase both items. The other one had been ordered and given to a different person. So this is just one um, I received. So I definitely don't wanna break it, but you can see inside this box, it has a little padding. And over here, the box tells you the collection of this particular item. I believe it is the Rally 24. I think this is what it's called. And I know this is a slightly older design compared to some of their current designs. In a minute, you'll see. This is a beautiful little tray. And I think you can definitely use this as a plate and as a tray if you like to take photos of it. I just find it really aesthetic and I like that it is in the very, very nice um, color contrast, the Chant d'Arc design. They probably call it a different thing for their plates. I just love this color combination and it's really thin. And for those of you who have followed me on the channel for a while, um, you know that I love their china and ceramic cups. So I've gotten and over the course of these two years, I've collected quite a few pieces of these items and I am loving it because I use it on the daily and I see them all the time and I just appreciate all of these items. I do think Home Goods is a good department to invest your money in if you are on that Hermes journey. It does weigh more than if you were to purchase a lot more things from leather goods department. And I also think in order to increase your chances of getting 
um, your quota bag, even with items that you think or your essay think that might have sold out, just let them know because I think they have a product book that you can look through and there's style number on there. So you can definitely let the essay know, hey, I'm interested in this one. Maybe you can put me down and we can just see whether or not I'm going to get it. And this is definitely one of those. If this is the first video that you're watching on the channel, make sure you click that subscribe button. Do not miss out on future unboxings and you'll see exactly what else I got. Now, moving on to the bigger object. This is definitely a handbag and a little story behind it. This was um, something that I had requested after I got the mini Lindy in Rose Sakura. I just love the style of the Lindy. Even earlier days, I had done a review on my friend's Lindy, um, the bigger size. So I definitely love and appreciate the history and the design inspiration for the Lindy bag. So after the mini Lindy, I went ahead and requested this color. It's one of the best neutrals that everybody loves from Hermes. And for some of you who do love sharing handbags, with your family member, whether it be your sister, your mother, or mother-in-law, sister-in-law, etc. This is a great bag and I think nobody can pass it on. So let's go ahead and open this right now. And nowadays I just find, you know, unboxing more special if I do it on the spot with you guys instead of me having to do a whole nother setup. So here we go. It's a same box as my or maybe even smaller, slightly smaller than my Hermes Airbag 31. This is definitely the smaller size, but she is a true beauty. Okay, go ahead and take it out. And I believe this also came with a ring protector this time. Some bags just don't come with ring protectors, which makes me wonder, is it because the leather is very prone to, is, is less prone to ring versus other leather? Um, this is in Clemens leather, so I thought it's a sturdier leather in between like the mini Lindy that I had, which was in Swift. That is just such a soft leather, but the Clemens leather actually came with a ring protector. Very interesting. If you have more insights or information that you'd like to share about these ring protector situations on certain Hermes bags, let me know in the comment section below because I am not sure why the sturdier leather, in my opinion, is offered a ring coat versus the other one that is a lot more delicate, which it didn't come with a ring coat. I say definitely wrap this very well. And voila, a nice little tissue pillow right there. And one, two, three. Here is the Lindy. And this time is true etope. As you can see, the contrasted stitching. Um, this is etope with a white color stitching versus last time when I unboxed the Picoton 18, it was in the beige de Weimer color. That one is like a milk tea kind of a gray and brown combination. And I believe this is one of the best neutrals that Hermes make and everybody loves it. I like how this really reminds me the moment when I opened the mini Lindy because um, that one is literally a miniature version of this particular style and everything is much smaller and you feel like you're playing with like, you know, a, a doll's bag or something, especially the mini size. Without further talking, this is a Lindy 26 in etope with silver or palladium hardware, if you will. And it comes with the protector, so since I just opened it up with you guys. It's going to stay on there for the rest of the video. The thing I like about Lindy is that these zippers are pretty flexible. I also like how you can turn this little mechanism here 360 degrees. So you don't have to worry about, it. you know, you're overturning it or underturning it or doing something wrong, but that's just how the this um, closure is designed. So opening it up and inside here, a protector that's on the outside of the bubble stuffing and voila the rest is a pretty clean and beautiful natural bag
let me take everything off completely to give you guys a better complete look and I believe it is just gonna sink in like this once you start using it um, right now I have to find a better use for it because I just really like this bag I mean if you wanted a in-depth review feel free to check out the other video I made I'm going to put a link over here as I dove in a little bit deeper on the history inspiration and also where it's coming from so this is probably the third Lindy I have reviewed and so far I think these three covers all the sizes I guess 29 I haven't touched but I have reviewed Lindy in three sizes in total one is the mini size and this is the size 26 and also the bigger size I have reviewed very early on when the channel started when I bought the bag from my friend so make sure you check it out because they're all very different and that is the unboxing so I hope you guys enjoyed it I'm not gonna blab further because unboxing videos are really just really exciting for those moments when you open up the box so let me know in the comment section below if you have any of these two items on your wish list currently and and if you like this video make sure you give it a thumbs up because it really supports the channel and make sure you subscribe to the channel for more unboxing videos and other videos around luxury thanks for coming along you guys have a great day i will see you in the next one take care bye